I'd like to show you how to create windows in an angled wall situation like we have over here for the bay windows. I'll start by sketching a rectangle in auto grid mode on the surface of this wall right here. Then I'll set the parameters so that we're dealing with a four foot length and a three foot width. I'll turn off auto grid and next I'd like to get the window at the proper elevation. I'll do that by moving the window down to zero in Z and then I'll go to offset mode and move the window up a distance equal to half of its length. So in this case that would be two feet. Now the lower edge of the window is on the ground. I'll enter the sill height of 30 inches in the Z text box and now the window is at the correct elevation. Now I'd like to move that window over within the wall segment so I'll change the reference coordinate system to local and just slide that window over. Now I'd like to have three windows here and ideally I should instance them so that they share the same set of parameters. This can be a little tricky because what we need to do is mirror this rectangle over here. And to do that we need an object that represents that distance. And I will do that by sketching in a line right on the top of this wall from here to here. Notice that that line is not straight across, rather it's diagonal because I snapped to these vertices that are at the midpoint of the NURBS surfaces. I'll go into the vertex level and move this vertex here to a value of 0 in X and I will match that over here by right clicking on its X spinner. I will also center the pivot to the object so that the pivot point is now at the midpoint of the line. This will be a tool that we will use to mirror the rectangle around to the other side. I will pick the reference coordinate system off of the line and then select the rectangle by name and choose the transform coordinate center mirror the rectangle in the Y direction making an instance. Finally I can get rid of this line that I used as a temporary aid. Now I just need to get one more instance of the rectangle here. And I can do that just by copying it with vertex snap. I'll use selection lock, hold down shift and drag it from this vertex to this one. I'll make an instance and this time I need to rotate it so I'll use the align tool and I don't want to change any of the positions but I am interested in changing the orientation. I'll align it to the x-axis. It looks like it's perpendicular now and that's good because now it will be easy to rotate it using angle snap. I'll just rotate it 90 degrees.